Hey, what is up, YouTube? Colst here. So we got a special video today. Is Anixi's mini set has dropped as of recording this just a few hours ago, and we have the first run here that I attempted as part of the new rotation, which is just, you know, a whole bunch of dragons as we kind of expected. So the deck I have here is a really slow and greedy paladin deck featuring just a whole bunch of discovered two ivory knights and two special dragon legendaries, Brightwing and Azdormu the Timeless. Will these cards work out? Will they help us out? Zdormu especially can really bite you if you're not too fortunate, but I won't spoil anything from the video, so you'll have to watch and see. So don't forget to like the video if you like it, comment and subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you guys are having a good experience if you're playing this match as well, and enjoy this run. So the, the tracker is not going to be very useful because we have no HS replay data, and all the Hearth Arena scores apparently aren't in yet. 6-6. Six, six. Could be a 9-9. Nine, nine. I've been seeing from what I've been seeing from other people, you don't you still just don't get enough dragons to really activate dragon synergy. And this is a dragon to activate our other dragon synergies, so seems good. We'll grab a spider tank. Skyclaw, I guess. Bomber, I guess. Okay, at least we got one playable legendary. It's just gonna be, man, deck quality is just so bad now. Ivory or cavalry? Probably this, right? Yeah, we already have two dragons. We'll try this, I guess. If decks suck, theoretically, games should drag out a little longer, right? Grab a tar creeper because it's OP. I guess we can try to make the tower sergeant work. There's a fair chance that if we play Skyclaw on three, this will just activate. So we'll go for it. Don't really want another six at this moment. But I could take it. We do have an open five slot right now. <laughs> and we could like pull out, you know, Brightwing could maybe, we could maybe make that work. I just feel like when people are going to have like busted legendaries, playing a 210 for 6 mana isn't really produ isn't really doing anything all that productive. We'll try this. So we have two dragons already. If this goes off, it's OP. The question the problem is if it doesn't go off, it's terrible. The safe pick is to take this, but we can also go all dragons. That is an option. I should probably do this. Let's just try this. Okay, these are both very good. I think I'll go for the Consecration first. For the Blood Guard. Vine Cleaver. Okay. It's just, this is gonna be every draft, right? You're just, it's gonna happen. You're just gonna get like garbage. Like this is the best card here. By a lot, <laughs> just scary to say. The battle cry. We want a hose in maybe. This could be good. Grab a two. I did grab an equality, I guess. I've been seeing a lot of rares. I wonder if the rares are bugged too. Because, like, seeing two equalities like that, and we've been, like, feels like we're even maybe seeing more rares than we're supposed to be. Because I know the epic, people have been saying the epics are bugged again. But maybe even the rares are bugged this time. So from what I recall, according to Grinning Goat, Back in the day when this card came out, in those dormer you would just slam on four and it would be good. That was what they said. Maybe we find out if they were right. Malagos does not really help us right now. We could play a Moros technically. But I mean we might as well also it's a dragon. Because I think it makes sense, right? Like you give if you play it on curve, you give your opponent ten mana to come back with. If they have raid boss and Nixia, you just fucking lose. But you know. 
if they don't, they get to swing you, but then you get to swing them back, theoretically. The other thing is, is that we can potentially pull out the Nas with our Cavalry Horn, and then it would have no downside. And we can also just play a late game when it has no downside, so... Let's just try this, I guess. Batrider is such a sad looking card when you look at it next to Night Captain. <laughs> I mean, what isn't it at this point, to be honest? Two drop, maybe? We have three twos. You could just go for the taunt. Let's try that. It's a better card. We can see if we can get a cheaper two drop. And if we don't, we're here piling on two. It might not be the worst thing. Grab a troll. I think we're just going like super heavy value, right? Just hoping that people can't punish us. This is really good right now too, but... Okay, we'll just grab a one. Grab terrible three. So we can't go this. This is too greedy. Like, way too greedy. Uh... I guess. It's too bad we can't really uh, activate this. It would be very tricky. I mean, we do have two Ivory Knights, to be fair. We have two Ivory Knights and a Battle Vicar, so... We could hit buffs. I don't know. This is probably fine. I want some twos. Not exactly a two I was looking for. Maybe we just take it, though. Is this better? Not really. We could Reflecto Engineer our Ice Hoof. <laughs> I think I'll just grab this. Another Consec or a Stormwind. How greedy do we want to be? Because Stormwind would be good, obviously. But it's greedy. But is it okay to be greedy? It might be. Is Consecration going to save us if we're getting smarked anyway? It might not. We already have basically one and a half consecrations in our deck. It may just be the play though. I don't know, it's like Stormwind's basically irreplaceable where we have already, again, one and a half consecrations. I guess having a quality makes consecration better. Also though, it's probably too greedy. Faceless, I guess. Okay, so we just have a super greedy paladin. Alright, so this is the question. Do you play Nas on curve? Do you keep it? Probably not against against a rogue, you probably just toss it away, right? Because it's too likely they just Rogue has Vile Spine back. And it's bugged, so it's gonna show up too often. Question is if we keep this. We don't have that many threes. <laughs> I don't have that many fours either though. Do I keep this and just YOLO? To say nothing bad ever happens. I'll look for a two. We found a Grim Totem Bounty Hunter. I would do it like if it wasn't... I think the only classes I wouldn't do it against are Rogue and Priest. I think I would do it against any other. Maybe Warlock too. I think every other class I would have done it. Uh huh, we're winning. Technically, we're actually not winning. I mean, we went with. Actually, we went first, so we are winning. So, there's that. It's actually worse. Oh, God. One thing is, is that Nazdorm is actually worse when you're going first, because your opponent has more, more cards than you. That's another. That's one problem with it, too, actually. Is this opponent's class or. Another.
I guess getting the 2-6 body, it's either this or 2 hero power, but getting the 2-6 body out with the Bloodguard follow-up seems useful. Although I guess also having the, the Hosen Healer to heal up the Bloodguard would also be useful. But again, we're kind of assuming the Bloodguard gets killed. Now you can get Wildpaw Cavern on Curve by Rogues. About that. Wait, is he overdrawing? Oh, he's at 9, right? Yeah. I could kill that, but it's probably better to just play this. Assassinate would be kind of off curve now. Did he pre bump that? Okay. Uh, we just ripped the Bat Rider, right? Well, we could also go Vicar. No, we should go Vicar and see if we get a buff. Because if we get a buff, we'll just play that. With every step, the light guides you. Finding thing with Hold the Bridge is that you wouldn't even get the, uh... You wouldn't even get the buff out of it. We should go Kings, right? It's, it fits the curve anyway. And then I'm wondering if we if we hit the 2-3. Uh, Probably, right? So yeah, the Divine Shield was just worse in every way. But now we're playing into Big Game Hunter. Apparently, Worm Rest Purifier is insane now. It should be, yeah. Yeah, it actually should be. And it's epic. Bugged. So it's gonna be extremely common. That's kind of rude. That's, that's not rude at all, actually. That's very nice. Thank you. Do I want a dagger though? I might just want to. I should probably just play the Vine Cleaver, right? You go like Dagger Bat Rider, but I mean, this is still probably just better. It's not even just, um. It's not even just that the core set made it better, it's the fact that there's. You're forced to take so much neutral garbage now. So it's like double, it's like two, two different reasons why this card is way better than it ever should be. That was the news he kept in the opening hand and didn't tempo. Okay. Four two two maybe. Kill that. I don't want to know the answer to this, but the road consecration isn't in, right? <laughs> oh fuck, it isn't. Um, crap. Um, they never have it, surely. Turns out he doesn't have it. Stop playing objective cards. Always wanted an Emerald Reaver lethal. Yes, Emerald Reaver lethal. Now we are getting hunted. Not like this. 
I'll keep this. It's one of the few decent tempo cards in our deck. Decent, good early tempo cards. I have already said basically, I'm basically already committed to putting this run on YouTube. So hello YouTube, how are all of you guys doing? I guess we'll play this. Kinda sucks, but whatever. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and comment and all that stuff. Normally I pick random runs, but last time I did first run anyway, so I might as well do it again. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. Not 03 already, YouTube material. If it went... I've been seeing a lot of people go 03 today. Because, um, you know. But even if it did, it might have gone up. I probably would have redone a second one. But I don't know, actually. Wait, this is OP. Well, except he's going to just trade it off. Do I do it anyway, though? He's deadly shot. I'm going to be sad. They never have deadly shot, right? Maybe he plays his own legendary? YOLO. We will find out if this is good or not. The good thing is, is that we have, if he plays the Explorer, we have Night Captain. We just need him to play... This actually can't kill Raid Bloss Nixia. Um, hmm. I feel like he should be trading that thing off. I think he just realized it. Chokes on you, I don't have any spells. Rude. Okay, well, this seems to have gone extremely well. As I was saying, I think this card is better on coin, specifically. Because you have an extra option than your opponent, as compared to your opponent. Am I just ignoring this Why? then? Probably, right? I'll be really sad if that makes the difference. This is just a normal turn 5 board, it's just nothing to see here. Nice. This poor guy, he's like sitting here trying to play like fair cards. Okay, never mind. I, I have no, I don't feel bad for him at all anymore, he deserved everything he got. You already lost in DQA into Raid Boss? Yeah, that is the dumbest thing. <laughs> I can't believe they released... I can't believe they didn't do anything about that. Zeddy brought it up to the devs yesterday, and I, I, was, I responded to that tweet too. Oh my god, 4 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. But I still can't really believe they didn't intervene like they couldn't have done it based off of that last second interaction because it's just way too late but and it's clear with this rotation though they just didn't they they, they there wasn't really any they didn't put much thought into it you know how this would actually play out. Maybe 
Maybe I should keep this guy claw and coin the threes. I don't know. It would have been a pretty good combo, actually. I should, probably should have done that. We'll find out if he has... Okay. Well... It's not the one we were worried about. I don't think I want to play a gastropod into that. I'll put the tar creeper in. I don't want like, you know, some, something like bunker sergeant could kind of ruin our day. And I do want that ping to get there. That could be a problem. Now I might regret everything. I want that ping back. Okay. Never mind. Crisis averted, I guess. Okay, so we play two and they both threaten his guy, so. Would have been really bad if that missed. Okay, that means he did, he's not gonna like bat rider our guy, so we're probably getting that trade. For some reason, I thought that dragon was a beast. We could take the bat rider, but it's probably a good time to coin a six. So I guess it's that one. We can faceless it too. <laughs> Just be. <laughs> I can faceless that. I'm probably gonna bat rider that though. Yeah. Use faceless as removal, but also just play Ivory Knight. I think since we have a quality consecration, going slow is okay. We're healthy enough that we shouldn't die, especially if we take something big here. It's too bad that the Knight Captain just can't activate right now. That would have been perfect. Side quest. This does seem pretty good. Might not really do anything, but because he'll probably trade with it now. But if it's, I mean, if we're saving seven health, right, that's already something. Just act now. I feel like this night captain is cursed. We just rip the equality, play Bloodguard. So it's funny about the equality consecration combo, like half the time it just doesn't make sense to even play the consecration anyway. If we just try a double trade. If that's a freezing, then we get our guy back. I could play this, but I guess taking a 9 9 is better, huh? Oh yeah, actually, I need to check what the secrets are. I don't know what the secrets are. 
Just realized the tracker's wrong. Cat trick. Explosive freezing. Ice. Hidden cache. Snakes. So it's a it's a much weaker hunter secret pool this time around. And like nothing that saves him now, right? Sometimes. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be really nice or really mean thing to say. Depends on the context, I guess. Is epic epic bug back? People are saying it is. I don't think like I mean we didn't get like almost any epics. I only I only have two in this deck. I, I skipped a handful in draft, but not that many. Or three, I guess. I guess we're coining threes. Deliverance was this last set, right? So it's in. Yeah. I I just got rid of you. Uh, we have this against Priest again. Now I have a way to play around Deliverance. Oh god, Graver in his back. Do I want a Brightwing? I think I want this. It'll freeze the 4 1, which might let us like wait a turn for our consec, maybe. Probably just gonna have to rip this Nas, because what else am I gonna do? The million IQ play, do this and then deliverance to freeze both your guys to get max freeze value for your opponent. You got him. I, mean, I can play an 88 or I can play a 3-2. The one thing is that it seems like he has a really heavy hand. Like, we're probably just going to get raid bossed immediately. But what are you going to do about it, right? I'm doing this because it we do get the freeze. That is a free from Amber. That's a problem. Hopefully he picks a legendary. All according to plan. Give it the old crush animation, nice. Now, is this worth Night Captain? It might be. What are pre smash board clears right now? Dragonfire. Ruin. That's it. Ooh. Yeah, let's go wide then. I'll take this over. I'll take this for AoE insurance. Just rip the concept. Go for Ivory Knight, I guess. There are some buffs in that thing could punish us. Not sure if there's anything we can get off of this, but I'll do this over the other stuff. Adapt. It could be good. We'll still just consec, I guess. I 
think I'm gonna have to take this trade. Text the night captain and also like as I was saying, there's actually bad things he could do with that. Wait, he got nothing off of that? <laughs> what? This is a 3-0 priest? And he has no drafted holy or shadow spells? And he's 3-0. Dex is so terrible now. What the hell? Easiest wind fury lethal of our lives? I should go for this first, technically. Cute. Decks are actually just garbage. I mean, his card quality was... This guy had really good card quality, but I mean, like, you know. Spirit Guide that doesn't draw is a little... It's not ideal. Mages are going to be the raid bosses, probably. Okay, we play Nerubian Egg, we equality it, and then we Mad Bomber it. Got him. You know, we actually do have a really good deck for this. Doesn't show that satisfactory animation. That's kind of, that's kind of awful. Still a 2-2. Two, two. It'll uh, it'll be big eventually, chat. Um, I believe. I want to just cash out that 2-1, but I mean, cashing it out into a 1-4 doesn't really make sense. Weekly Blubber Baron check. Still a 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Why, hello there. There's one thing that got us here, right? And again, it's like... It's funny because we keep end up having this situation where it's like, well, I don't really want to do this, but it's just we don't have any other plays. Like, it's... This is losing 100%, so... Like, what else am I going to do? We should play around Meteor, though. Drake Fire Amulet? Oh, God. Blubber Baron or Gangster? I think we might have actually picked this Blubber Baron over a Gangster. Okay, what are the Mage Secrets? The Mage Secrets are Counterspell, Ice Barrier, Mana Bind, Mirror Entity, Potion of Polymorph. So either spells or summon. Surely this never screws us. That's fine. I guess I'll just kill that. And then this is a 4-4. Four, four. It'll get bigger. Maybe I just want a blood guard right now. Just a better minion. Could just go max tempo, but... Probably not gonna get that much of blood guard right now. Let's just do this. Take the draw. I could've taken the buff. 
I think the draw is going to be worth more. The menagerie is for guests only. Yeah, we need our uh, bounty hunter. Try to rip the 50-50. Swing and a miss. It's pretty bad for us. Well, I can draw and play this. I guess I'll do that. I can keep growing this though. Yeah. You gotta believe in something, right? We can go Ivory Knight plus Blubber. I wonder if I've been unlucky or it's like so many of the Paladin spells seem to be one cost. Let me see if that's true. Well, yeah, there are. There are nine one cost spells in Paladin right now, and there's only. There's only 26 total spells and 9 of them are 1 cost, so that is kind of expected. Damn. A little late. With every strike, we will strike back. I think it's time for the max tempo. Yeah, I think Mage is the class by far the most helped by the epic bug out of everyone. So, I mean, this guy hasn't played an epic. I don't know. I mean, based off my experience, though, I haven't been seeing a lot of epics. But maybe I've just been lucky. I don't have a lot of epics. I didn't see a ton in draft. This guy hasn't played a single epic yet. Considering pinging his own guy. He can't really deal with our blood guard though. Blubber Baron? Bro, me and Blubber Baron, we go way back. Try to hit Consec. Almost. Yo. Save out with the raid. What is up? I mean, I guess we're taking that. Hope you had a good stream. How was your day one? Feels like this is happening. And I'm not sure if this is happening or this is happening. It's one of the two. I think I have to trade. It's a lot of damage, but we lose so much board if I don't trade. Because he's going to be able to like buff his dragon and kill this. Seems pretty bad. If you don't know save file check mal he does great arena content as well and some variety on the side on this side channel two sevens and a three one paladin not bad not bad you are the highest i guess you have a seven one average so far basically right that's by far the highest average i've heard of today <laughs> got him although we seem to be on a good one so far What on earth would he be... Yeah, okay. Like, what would he be targeting this with? Seems unfortunate for him. I 
think I'll hold the Legendary Slayer. Maybe I should tempo it, though. I don't know. You could also just YOLO his face. But he didn't play Rune, right? He There's no box anymore. It's just Rune, and he would have Runed already, probably. Got him. Heard a lot of people getting sub fives. I've heard I've seen a lot of sub threes. A lot. <laughs> From people that don't go sub three very often. It's funny because especially with what we're used to, I guess we're like a super high roll deck here, but it's like this deck feels terrible compared to last meta. But it's just everything's terrible now. Unless you have Broken Dragon, but... Uh... What... What was that? Some animation went off. Am I supposed to know what that was? Oh, the four or five shows you? Oh, I didn't know that it tells you. Is that a bug? So he's gonna coin a four or five. It's a bug. Yeah, okay. He's not coining it. Okay. It feels like it shouldn't tell you. Okay, we have a problem. Do I ever just play this? I guess I still do this. If he's gonna do that, I could hit this in to guarantee it i guess just he might punish it but if if he doesn't hit in then we'll have a knight captain so i guess that's good because he's gonna play a four or five possibly so we'd probably like to guarantee it that's kind of unfortunate it's good if he's not playing this four or five at least Okay, do I ever just Cavalry Horn? No, right, we need to get other crap out of our hand first. Ideally, we want to play this. That might not happen, but... We kind of have a dream, I guess. I guess we're taking this. We do have two Consecrations, so I could try to take this for the potential swing later. Maybe I should, actually. Because is this really winning us anything? Probably not. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Even the Pursuit of Justice could have been a consideration there, maybe. Pursuit of Justice to make your hero power just eat his? Pretty good. Chat was right. Dude, what the hell? How am I supposed to... So can't get a Knight Captain. There's actually no possible way to get a Knight Captain here. But I can just play the Horn, I guess. I mean, it's like either that or a quality. And I guess I'm just killing this. Unless I want to put this in to activate Night Captain next turn. <laughs> I can play the 7. No, I'm, I want to... Oh, this is weird, actually. I can Night Captain Popsicle cooler. You're not... You're not entirely wrong. It's funny, but I actually might want the 2-1 to die. Good. 
I'm gonna do this. It's because I have Night Captain. And we only need one damage in theory. Until he gets Heal Totem and then we're really sad. Got him. I think the 1-2 is actually just better on average here than a 2-1, so... That's annoying. There's one card I didn't review. I am aware of that, but I kind of figured people didn't need me to review that one. How does he punish? Wait, what does Shaman have? I have to like look at every class now. It's like, what does Shaman have? Because I never really thoroughly looked over. I don't see what Shaman really does to screw this guy over. He could have Lightning Breath. Or the one-sided volcano. Those are like the punishes to this. There is that. Hmm. Great. I can't like a quality and night captain. That doesn't really work. So only night captain? I'm wondering if I actually just want to hear a power. Because I am... I do think I'm going to a quality at some point. I have to try to squeeze value out of it. Well, yeah, I know people have been saying the epic bug is a thing, but I mean, at least off of this run... W this is like the sixth opponent I've had in a row that hasn't played any epics. So I don't... I mean, at least off of my, my very small sample size, I see no evidence of the epic bug existing. Okay, never mind. The epic bug obviously exists. <laughs> I did, I did ask for that one. Kind of. It's not like that was an amazing spammy one, right? It's okay. Apparently Shaman still is Shaman. Yeah. I think it's possible the epic bug is class based that's it was it usually is what that what was happening before was the epic bug would happen to classes they would micro adjust so maybe they brought micro adjust back and they tried to micro adjust this set they tried to micro adjust this relation on this rotation on release that's possible actually need to play all the battle cries A target? You can't target your own guy. What to do? In time, your head will fetch a high price. Got Okay, it's okay. Shaman never has... They actually don't have that many. They have Volcano and don't stand the fire, but they lost Earthquake. They lost everything. So... We finally made a 3-man 4-4. Four four. Dude, we only do that like two turns ago. Dude, mutual freezing. I like this. Do we just believe? I probably have to take like every value trade, don't I? Keeping dudes around, and I I don't know if we do this yet. Keeping dudes around could be good. This guy in here, or this guy in... I don't know, here? Here? I guess, I guess this is a value trade still. All the value trades, basically. We could, um... I could leave that up, because it can't actually... 
I should probably leave it up actually. The one thing is like, at least in my experience as well, it, Arena feels like it did like five years ago because half the sets are from five years ago. It's like there's these random broken cards mixed in, but decks feel so bad already. But I mean, I think I've been lucky encountering a bunch of bad decks, which is maybe not everyone's experience so far. Remember when there was a board? There are a lot of epics that suck. That is true. I skipped a handful of epics. We only ended up with like three. So this guy having two spammy arcanists does make the epic bug seem more plausible. <laughs> Try to hit concept. I mean... No reason to like, I don't think we play it. I was offered 12. Was I offered 12? Yeah, that's a that's more than it should be. I think the normal number you're offered should be like six or seven. And yeah, the last time the off the last time the epic bug was, it was probably it was about double, I think, right? So that's very plausible. Yo, Akinar with the raid, welcome. Appreciate it. How was your stream? How are you enjoying day one? I assume you're playing arena, right? Do I just do this? I mean, we might as well just leave the game, right? Like, we're being honest, but. Just wondering if I bridge now. I might just wait, I think. Is so improbable. It's not that improbable, but okay. That's a pretty. That's like a bottom 15%. I want to say. I don't know the exact odds. Bottom 10%. Yip troll. Now we're just gonna die. Maybe if we draw Consecration, it'll be okay. But yeah, as I was saying, like our opponents haven't had many epics, but it's true that a lot of the epics are crap, so people might just not be picking them. And this guy had two spammy Arcanists, which is not normal. Could we at least get one good RNG outcome, maybe? No. I think that deck just beats a raid boss in Ixia, to be honest. Yes, come on. <laughs> we need our we need our bro. Got something to hide. Did I see Redbridge deck? I did not. I should look. Fate the way. I'll go for the Tar Creeper. Hold the bridge would punish either of these plays pretty hard. It is a pretty insane mage deck he has. Mm. 
He's like not even. Is there actually any reason to hit him? Because he's gonna heal anyway. I don't know. There's no punish to hitting him, right? Ah, greetings, sir. I'd like to introduce. Oh, for some reason, I thought I had this in my hand already. I don't know why I thought that. Well, um, I guess we. We're going to faceless it. Question is, what else are we gonna do? We play blood guard, but I can also play snail. We also play a six six. I feel like I like this. Yo, T, do you want it? Thanks for the sub. Welcome back. Three months in a row. Enjoy the badge upgrade. Oh yeah, I can't snail anyway, so it's like 5 and 5 or 4 and 5. These are the only... Really the only plays. This just jeopardizes. We might lose this guy, I don't really like that. Let's just do this. Kill that before it gets back to his hand somehow. Well, why do I feel like um, I'm not supposed to be here? I just feel like I'm not supposed to be here or something. It's probably not worth trying to squeeze any hero power. Value trade that. I can also just not value trade that. Oh, wait a second. Wait, this is awful. <laughs> I'd still probably just go for the ivory, right? If I pull out the 6-6, six, six, I guess it's okay. That's probably what we wanted. Just play it. a little bit off of lethal. I think you kill him, right? If you kill him with consecration with that thing, he dies fat he dies first. Rip a battle cry. Am I killing that? I guess I'm killing this. Be fair, a 7-6 is basically big enough, right? He has his own consecration. Oh! Consecration on a freaking dragon stick. There. Ah. Now our random legendary. <laughs> is there any one-cost spell that, like, wins us? I don't think so. Where's damage? Draw, I guess? How good are demons right now? You can get Inquisitor. Abyssal. They're mostly crap. How did we miss damage? It's like 50-50 to get any specific one you're looking for, I think. Sergeant Sally, Baron Rivendare, oh my god, the combo. 
Is that even legal? We figured out why we won this game. Fair enough. Do a prediction now for where we go nine with this deck. Gamba time. Chromagus in the four four priest thing. That's like an average roll, probably, right? Imagine if those had been real cards. Yeah, we would not have won. Hey look, flame imp. Nice. I forgot to pet the bomber before I played it. That's my that's my mistake. Kill that Tar Creeper with a 6-6. Six, six. He can kill our 3-2, but then our 3-4 should theoretically kill his 3-4. If you bump in now, the traits are just... It'd be one thing if you had an answer for the 3-1 in hand, but we don't. It's a little risky to a buff, but we don't really have a choice. The one thing is, I feel like there's less Knight Captains now. Has other people's experience been that as well? Are there just less Knight Captains? Just less of everything powerful. I, yeah, it feels that way. I was gonna be kind of concerned if he did that. I'm gonna have to just go for the hosen, I guess. Blubber check. Has Blubber been reasonable? It's been good. We haven't had a game where it's been bad yet, and it was we played as a three man eight eight once. On like turn eight or something. That's a problem. Take the two kill the three one and the three four. Probably. Let's go wide. Any any widers in chat? Weird thing is maybe I I don't want this trade to happen. Maybe I actually because he can kill this anyway. Well no, if he kills this, then that means he's not killing this. Yeah, he can't kill both of these. Oh yeah, I, I forgot also that Dragon Breath actually has text on it. It's easy to forget this card has actually has text on it sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. we got our first, I think it was our first game we got immediately uh, killed. We immediately got hit by the rogue card on curve. Does Paladin have a source of three damage AoE? Oh, they have Faceless Grafter. It's a name I haven't heard in a while. So we're probably gonna play the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, wow. Maybe we go six and six and one instead of the seven. Actually, actually, hmm. If we play the seven, we kill the two one and the four two. That's actually pretty good. You can make it work either way. Either play can work actually. Should probably make it work this way. 
So I'm just gonna kill the hat. Oh no, I said I was gonna do it this way. Okay. It's not really okay. Paladin one mass spells are pretty good. Okay, I have to play around Reckoning. I could let Reckon Reckoning kill this. I can actually play all of these as well. Let's let's start with this then. Test the Reckoning. And then... Avenge. Problem is Avenge and Get Down are both possible. I think we're gonna have to just... This is fine. Because he'll be frozen. The guaranteed Templar Captain on Curve that everyone else that is at this win-loss gets, but not us. I think this is just the better Curve minion right now. I mean, at least um, both Templar Captains we've been able to kill, so... Templar Captain's gonna be a lot more toxic than it was, because last meta the power level was so high, but now I feel like Templar Captains are just gonna stick. There's the... the literal devil himself. Do I faceless 410? Maybe. Am I gonna get something better? The thing is, he still has a dragon. Like, we probably just can't win this game, if we're being honest. I think, just objectively speaking, neither of these plays are winning. But... This is maybe, probably theoretically better. It's just like, I can't think of a dragon that we beat, basically, that he would have actually picked off a discover. I don't think they exist. I can actually activate that. <laughs> well, I can activate this off the Twin Tyrant, but then he's going to draw. I feel like I need to try to just hit, like, Consecration, maybe. Or a buff. I can get a buff, too. There's a lot of things to hit. Um, bridge is probably just better, actually. Because actually the heal matters as well. It helps. It definitely helps. It just doesn't help that much. Bunch of just random stats. Why is Twin Tyrant not a legendary? Someone explain this to me. That was the dragon, that was not the dragon. He still has the dragon. Eradicator thanks for following. This is just a... We're just completely boned now. Because this is a legendary, almost guaranteed. But it's like, what am I going to do, not do anything? <laughs> I probably have to just tempo this, I guess. If we don't do anything, we just die. He doesn't do anything and then we die. I have to do something to try to at least, like, encourage him to play whatever the hell this dragon is. And then, I don't know, like... I don't want to go 6 and 5, so this should happen, theoretically. And then this just goes into something.
I will return the points of the Gamba because no one bet no. Which may have been a bad choice. Two all betters. <laughs> I'm forcing him to trade a lot more than he wants to. He has to trade though, it seems like. Gives up the dragon. Okay, uh, Baron Gidden. It doesn't matter, we're dead anyway. This is your and it already feels that way. Not flame imp. A totally fair bomber. Hitting one of each target. Is this real life? Oh wow, he didn't. I would have thought he would have gone for that. Ping. He must have plans for his next turns. Knuckle smart, trade and go face. We can actually get buffs somehow. With like this maybe. Obliterate him. Ah, this feels like the good old days. The good old Bat Rider Ascension. Which felt a lot better and more consistent before Night Captain existed. We could try to go for the weapon. We might pull a faceless though, which would be kind of bad. But we can hold. I think we should do this, but we probably the most likely thing is we just won't use the weapon next turn. We have to like play this before we do this, obviously. And we might just have to like YOLO on a faceless and just say like hope it doesn't pull this and pulls this instead. But we'll see what he does. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, so either we YOLO or we just play a 6-6 here. Because we don't have to kill that immediately. We probably don't. We might even be at the case, honestly, where I just like tempo anyway and just say, I just completely wasted that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now we just do this and chill. They don't have flame strike. Only if Ireland's. We get pretty good trades there. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Nothing good to faceless here. No good night captain either. Wait, but this is the thing we're trying to pull with the weapon. Crap. Is so awkward. 
Are we actually faceless to 3 6? We gotta try to make this shit like, actually work out. So then the idea will be next turn we pop off. Good thing there's no broom anymore. Okay, that's extremely manageable. This is all extremely manageable. I mean, this is happening. Let's just do this first. <laughs> the question is like, I can Night Captain. Probably is Night Captain, right? What? Just if I, I could also do these. Maybe I actually do those. Gets the knuckles out. I guess that's good. Oh wait, it doesn't always. Well, it's 50-50. Yeah, YOLO. Got him. We're a little lower than I would like to be, but I guess it's okay. It's probably high enough. I mean, that isn't ruin off of Babbling Book or some crap. Imagine if you had the, the Charge Hog Rider. It's the 4-4, right, that your opponent has... Empty Hand. Because so that'll happen soon. Knuckles is going to have to actually go face here. I feel like he might have thrown by just wasting his first... He's played three of these, but he completely... He must have forgotten about the first one. Because <laughs> he just didn't use it. I probably don't want to let him get that. Oh, you bastard. You bastard! This might be worth contact here. Hmm. I just take that. It's probably not getting better. Think about it, sir. Damn, so maybe I... I was thinking, like, maybe I should take the adaptation for the reach. Now he can die. We never die, though, right? Unfortunately, we die to... Fireball. But I feel like we're more likely to lose if we... Trade... <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Maybe I should take the adaptation. It's like I wanted the the bridge in case the game got dragged out. Didn't matter. Got him. We got our true carry, the Blubber Baron. Try 
Turn two, top deck tracking, play tracking. Maybe I should just hero powered to be honest. We don't really have a turn three player. That'll do, I guess. This seems pretty good right now because we can just slot this right in. bad ever happens right we know he has one dragon in hand Dude, I keep tempting fate and they still don't have the raid boss it's amazing oh, that's kind of rude that's extremely rude and that was his one dragon right yeah that was his only dragon Making an 11, an extra 11 10 seems pretty good. Crushing walls is gone. What does Hunter have? I should look. Every time I face a new class, I have to look up. They have no. Hunter doesn't even have any spells above 4 mana. So. <laughs> they don't really. <laughs> they don't do that much. Okay. Um. Yeah, Faceless Nightcap. I mean, this guy's just like Giga Dead, right? I mean, at this point, I don't even think a... No, a raid boss will still save him. I believe... No, oh, I didn't... Oh, wait, these have a little... No, no, I still... He wasn't dead on board. But, I mean... He would need raid boss. Even Raid Boss. I think actually that turn, Raid Boss would have been too little to save him. Because we would have had like 30 health on board. And he'd be at like 3. So one thing is like Battle Vicar is probably just decent on curve. Like you can, if we miss three, it's like we can go like secret plus hero power. If it's like Avenge, it's actually kind of good. a drake fire hamlet makes me even more eager to play the three two first so that we can kill him uh excuse me sir um With every step, the light you. so mage aoe's they do not have flame ward anymore they lost Combustion as well, right? They have Volcanic now. Meteor, Rolling Fireball, Flame Strike. Greater Arcane Missiles. I honestly just don't think I'm trading. Especially not with the Avenge up. It's actually awful having Rolling Fireball and Meteor together. 
those cards are both in, and the way you play around them is often the exact opposite. Rolling Fireball, you generally want the big card in the middle, and Meteor, you want the exact opposite. Got him. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> okay. We'll take that trade. I'll take that trade too. Plays around Night Captain. You usually can't play around Rolling Fireball. It's like sometimes you can though. Like, what you don't want. It's like if you have multiple minions, which you just don't usually anymore, you don't want to have a situation where rolling fireballs like four damage to one thing and then it also kills like two or three little things. That's when it's really backbreaking. But yeah, like, it's probably true that generally speaking, Meteor is the one you probably need to think about more. Because if you don't play around Meteor, you just get giga fucked. That seems like a bad card to play right now. I could use the Consec, but I'm thinking I might just go like... I could leave that up. Probably leave it up. What am I thinking? Even if he could flame strike, he's a man off of flame strike. But even if he could flame strike, it wouldn't really be good enough. He would actually just be dead. That's exactly what I'm talking about, though. I'm actually giving him a pretty good rolling fireball. That's a thing. Like he could hit here, and then fireball goes all the way through. <laughs> but then he's still dead. I'm playing on meteor best this way, but for like Kona Cold, it might have been good to keep put this guy way over here, but. And there's that. I didn't know Shooting Star was back. Well. Okay, well, we got. Draken is a pretty good 7 drop for this scenario. Oh, also have a 9 9. But I feel like the cannot be targeted is worthwhile. Could pop the egg because Flame Strike doesn't save him anyway. Annoying. You guys think Consecration is an AoE? No, it's a burden spell. What are you guys talking about? I drafted it for Reach. How are you going to kill those pesky mages if you don't? At 8 mana deal 4. Got him. I know there's still like no data. The front page opened it looked like. Or it updated. We could just YOLO this. Did Demon Hunter lose cycle? Uh, yes. It might be worth just YOLOing this. And then even... I mean, to be honest, I could keep that if I'm keeping this. I think I'll try to play a little more conventional, though. I'm thinking like we might be at the point where we need to try to choose out because we might not be able to beat a 9-1 hunter, but we might be able to be a 9-1 hunter. Especially if we can like coin threes like this. Is Steam Hunter still top one class to pick? I doubt it, but I mean, I don't know yet. I would expect Demon Hunter is a lot worse now. 
people were saying it felt bad. Demon Hunter lost like all of their class cards. They literally only have the new set and the core set. That's it. So. Well, this looks like an unwinnable game. I, I mean, at least like the Nazdorma would not have saved us, right? <laughs> we have that going for us. I can't even bat rider because of his weapon. I mean, we got further than I thought we would, so... Every other Paladin we we faced along the way had Templar Captain, and we, with this deck, passed all the Templar Captains, so... Already greatly surpassed expectations. The courage of man shall not fail. That was, that was, that, he, like, spent time on that play. That was... He spent time thinking about that. You would FF. I'm not going to end the stream that way. Because this is my last run. Probably going Bomber Consecration. And probably use the weapon. The Consecration Bomber, I meant to say. Actually, it might just be Bar Bat Rider, depending on what he plays here. Oh. Gotta be this right. And now we pull the egg out. That's kind of bad. Okay, we got what we needed. Question is. I mean, I'm taking the damage anyway, it's just we pull the egg out. Maybe we just have to deal with that though. The thing is, we're probably going to draw something that makes us not pull this anyway. I don't know. Maybe you have to wait. Because next turn we're going to play this anyway, right? And then we can go this and this, so... It's not like... Cheating it out a turn early. Always 7-7? Seven, seven. You know this isn't random, right? This is always your lowest cost. So we did draw this, so we would have actually gotten it, but it was like a coin flip, but as is, we're doing kind of all right. You can't really kill the uh, first half the egg napper because then he gets the honorable kill on his weapon on board. It's kind of bad. Seeing him having no dragons is something we do like to see, though. Okay, we might die. We're one off killing him. One off killing him over two turns. We have to just do this. I was actually hoping to kill the one one with that. Why is that weapon so bad? It's not bad, except when you top deck the Nerubian egg on the turn that you have to use it. <laughs> I mean, he might go face and then just die to our Weapon. We'll see. 
I mean, he either has to onboard, he does kill the 8-8, but he has to use everything. He can actually kill the 3-3 as well. But then we theoretically win with the Vine Cleaver, right? Probably from his side, he's probably making the right play, but it's gonna... Well, I mean, depends on if he has taunt or not. He had all this dragon synergy and just missed all his dragons. How's Dormu carry? I think I have multiple 12-0s on my YouTube that were from that meta. And we're exactly like the. Okay, the cavalry horn should theoretically be good in this game. We get to dump out a couple of our early game immediately. We have nothing to pull right now, but we'll find something surely. It is actually somewhat terrifying. Wait, it would show the buff, right? Back when this card was printed, it would show hand buffs were seen or not seen, I don't remember. Would we know? I don't know if we would know, actually. Can we play one hunter that doesn't have this card? Like, please? That, is, is that too much to ask? Is it just... It's like every paladin at past six wins has... I mean, every paladin past four wins that we went against had Templar Captain. Every hunter past four wins has Bloodseeker. It's just like the rule, I guess. Can't even do this. It's not like I would really want to anyway, I guess. We probably hit the Night Captain on that thing at least. Yeah, this guy actually has the thing though, so we lose. So it does not... Flyfish does not show you the buff. Fortunate thing is that Poison isn't really good at setting up Bloodseeker. We have that going for us. Holy shit. You have to push face. If he wants to upgrade his weapon off of your guy using the Eggnapper and the weapon, he has to take another six and then he's really getting low. And then theoretically, we might kill him. Theoretically. Yeah, he doesn't feel safe enough to do it. I may end up holding this weapon for a while then, because the Batrider's crap, and because we have that Ivory Knight, unfortunately, we're not even guaranteed to pull the 6-6. Uh, six, six. I could just go face and make a 9-9, nine, nine, though. I, w I bet it's like snakes. Snakes or cat, would be my guess. The 
doesn't have a choice, he has to take 9. Well, you gonna take another 7, bro? At least the weapon is null and void. It still does 8 damage to us, unfortunately. Okay, do we want to go... This is getting played. Do I want to do this now? Well, it just gets killed by the imp. That's kind of bad. Probably better to go wide, right? There's no more dart trap. Oh yeah, and we did test explosive already, so... Freeze both as minions, it's amazing. Ah. Ah. Push his face. Take this for the heal, actually. But this seems pretty good right now. I think I might just kill this off and then Batrider. Problem is snakes are possible. Maybe I just play this. Play better, actually. Take a two for three in killing something. Nice. Don't waste any damage. Although, ironically, because of the Ring of Courage, it might have been better to not kill something. It might have been better to actually hit the 88 and miss. Miss, quote unquote. That doesn't matter. And Ring of Courage is cheap, so we can. Ice Trap is not a concern. Okay, that's a concern, though. Holy fuck. We have to trade. With every strike, you will strike back harder. The battle. I gotta say though, like, I mean, this deck getting as far as it did was really... I've said this hundred times, but this is... Every deck we've gone against is so much hilariously better than our deck, it's actually incredible, right? It's like... And we still got this far? Like, I mean, this guy's deck is literally perfect, basically. The only reason we had a chance is because he doesn't really have any early game. Even though he hit his... He hit the only two drop in his deck. At least it wasn't the Bloodseeker, though. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what are you doing? I think our opponent is drunk. Don't use drugs, kids. Is that drafted Dynamancy? It is, yeah. I do believe our opponent is is drunk. Man, okay. Rubble. 
Problem is he's gonna trade again now. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Never mind. It's all a giant tease to make you think you actually have a chance. Yeah, there's a two mana draw three now. Welcome to Hearthstone incurring here. That's how we're gonna die. Uh -oh. This is your moment. And it was a miracle to get this far against so many. <laughs> Imagine if this guy didn't trap dynamites here, actually. Even though he got pretty good value at the end, though. But, yeah. That's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone on YouTube. Say goodbye, YouTube chat. Goodbye. Hope that this meta will be as kind to it as it was, to us as it was in this run, and hopefully next time we will get even more broken stuff. I guess all you really need is no storm move, right? It's the ultimate broken thing. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all these things. We'll see you guys in the next one.